another video my darlings today i have a very interesting video for you guys it's about time for me to share my top 10 perfumes for life now my perfume collection has grown so much over the last few years since i've been making youtube videos and i have to say trying to narrow it down to just 10 fragrances i believe my collection of fragrances would be around the 250 mark so to narrow it down to 10 is pretty hard i had to really think about these but these are some fragrances that i've just loved for many many years and um i want to see how it's changed like over the years so i think i'm gonna do this like i said before i do this every six months or so just to see what um, fragrances i cannot live without i have a few fragrances that makes it to my top 10 list every consecutive year and this is one of them and you guys know which one it is. <laughs> it's Gentle Fluidity Gold, my darlings. Yes, it is. This is one of my most loved fragrances. My goodness me, when I first tried this perfume, I was in awe. It was a love at first sniff. And I wear this as my signature scent or my go-to. This is an easy grab and go for me. This is a sweet sugary ambery fragrance with notes of spice we've got delicate spice in here we've got juniper spice we have um, coriander spice in here and it's really pretty this is a scent that i find it to be warming and inviting it does have more of a warm tone with the vanilla ambery notes so this is a fragrance that is ideal for autumn and winter however i can wear this in the spring and summer wow it's so sweet fluffy soft it's highly feminine highly girly it's just a charming fragrance that i'm so happy to have in my collection i love everything about this bottle and i do love the juice i love the color it looks like a sugared syrup that you would add to a dessert maybe some poached pear or something that's what this syrup looks like and uh yeah i do love this and this has to be in my collection i think this is always just going to be on my dressing table this is a fragrance for you guys if you like something that is sweet and fluffy with some ambery notes the spice in here is not that warm spice it's not peppery or it's not a heavy like cinnamon and it's not as aromatic however the nutmeg in here has this creamy edge i believe it's the nutmeg in here and guys i just love this one so i'm going to put it down because i'm going to talk about this for way too long but what i've seen from my collection here i do have a fragrance two fragrances from one house so i'm going to share the next fragrance with you so my next fragrance my darlings is oud satin mood I don't even know, guys, I don't even know how to start this video because the introduction to this perfume is just magical. I remembered when I first reviewed this perfume, I think I reviewed the Eau de Parfum. Here I have the extract version. And you can tell because it has this really stunning gold plaque on the front of the bottle. Now, when I described this scent, it was very much poetic. It's like when you spray this, it's telling a story. A story of love and romance. And I think almost the love is forbidden, but the two are united somehow. It just, it's so poetic like that. It's like, it's so beautiful. You just love this scent because there is something in here that is just so addictive, so strong and mesmerizing. It should be forbidden. And that's why I say it's very poetic. It's like a forbidden love story. Oud Satin Mood sits on the skin ever so gently and it projects. It's so amazingly, guys. It's so powerful. I love this perfume and I think it's going to be in my collection for life because it's one of those fragrances I just know it's going to win if I'm going to a special occasion, if I'm dining out, if I am just doing something that requires a more elegant dressed up perfume then I'm going to wear this. 
it's really stunning and I received so many compliments with this. I love the way how the rose is presented in this fragrance. Might I say it's sugary, a syrupy, fluffy rose that's really drenched in like honey and syrup. Then we have a very delicate sort of shower of soft petals from the violet. It's like you can imagine like a violet dust sort of cascading around or floating around the bottle and then it's just that woody oud that like I said it should be forbidden you shouldn't wear this because it's just that good you know um, so I do love this perfume for that reason in your hair for like a day or more it's not going to leave your hair until you wash your hair and I do love it for that so that's my oud setting mood and this is the extrait de parfum I love this bottle and the juice inside is just gorgeous lovely creation there yeah. so the next house i have to share with you is a house that i've really been experimenting with over the last couple years and i have to say i did not know about this brand before i started making youtube videos um, i heard about this brand mainly from others and some of my friends here on youtube reviewing this perfume house it's parfums de mali this is my beautiful saffinade my goodness gracious me, I love this perfume. Now, this is orange blossom. It's a sweet orange, sugary orange. It's really gorgeous, guys. I love this. It's a warm toned fragrance. My Safnard, <laughs> I'm laughing because one of my um, viewers said I say my a lot when I talk about fragrances. Maybe I did, I didn't realize. <laughs> but yes, my Safnard has orange notes this is based on pear and juicy oranges in the opening and then you have a heart of orange blossom in here there's amber there's vanilla this is sweet i think this fragrance is well suited for the autumn and winter but i can wear this all year round i want to make this my signature scent and for me as a reviewer as a perfume lover I think it's fair for us to have 10 signature scents, I'm just saying, because it wouldn't make sense to have just the one, but I have about 10 and this is one of them. I do wear a fair amount. I do love this one. And staying with the same house, it's my Delina exclusive and this beautiful bottle is a rose, it's lychee, it's oud, it's vanilla, it's soft, it's powdery. I do love this. This is more of my romantic fragrance a special occasion i would say for this too it's a really beautiful scent that radiates and performs very well so yes this has to stay in my collection for life the next fragrance for life that i have for you guys is a fragrance i am so excited to share with you because i have been so addicted to this perfume and this is not a new perfume not by any means this is a fragrance that i just cannot stop wearing i'm addicted to it i love how it smells guys i am telling you and if you've seen my recent chanel addictions video then you know the fragrance it's this one here this is my chance au tendre and this is the edt so the outer toilet version guys i love how clean and powdery this is this is oh guys see even just smelling this it just smells so beautiful it's really really feminine extremely feminine it has this flowy, girly, pink vibe about it. It's very girly. It's a daytime scent. It's just a clean, easy wear perfume. It's nothing too intense. It's nothing too complex. It's just a daytime scent that is easy to wear. It's almost like extending your shower or your washing your hair. It gives you that sort of clean vibe, but with a powdery dry down that I love. This is beautiful quince because quince to me smells a little bit it's a fruity pear type of scent and citrusy um and then you have grapefruit in here as well you have jasmine hyacinth and then in the base we have that musk cedar amber i love this i love it guys this is a scent i just always want to smell like and um i have to say again like i said there's 10 signature scents actually i might make that a video I think I'm gonna do that actually for you guys. Let me know if you'd like me to film my signature scents because I do not have one signature scent. Um, but this one is something I just wanna smell like all the time, especially during the summer. 
but most definitely in the spring. I do not wear this in the winter, that's one thing. I do not pick this up at all in the winter. So this perfume is very much your spring summer scent. It is delicate, it is floral. You have to love florals to love this one. It is soft and in terms of performance, this is going to last on your skin. For me, I would say about three hours. And if it's on my clothes, maybe actually like the whole day, I can smell this at the end of the night, I have to say. If this gets on my jumper, I can smell it. Um, but on my actual skin, I can spray this on my actual skin. And this is going to stay on my skin for eight to 10 hours. But you have to bring your skin up to smell it, but you will still smell it there after 10 hours. So I do love it for that reason. Um, so this is a beautiful daytime scent that I'm so addicted to. I know that this is 150 ml, so this is a five ounce bottle. And I do know as soon as this, well, before this finishes, I'm going to replace it. I'm thinking about replacing it now because, um, yeah, I just need another bottle. I do have the atomizer as well, but this is something I cannot live without. I've been wearing this fragrance for over five years, way over five years. So yeah, I love this one. Do you guys like powdery scents as much as I do as well? Because the next perfume I have is just that. It's a beautiful, fluffy, powdery perfume. And it's by Chanel. It's this one here. It's my 1957. And this is from the exclusive range. So this perfume is a fragrance with lots of powder, guys. You have to love powder to love this perfume. Now, what I like about this powder, I think it's a powder that everyone should like. I can't see many people disliking this unless you just detest powdery notes. This is gorgeous. This has powder in the top notes, base notes, and even a heart of powder. Can you imagine? 1957 opens up with a little bit of aldehyde and some lemon. Then we have some jasmine, we have orange blossom, but it's the base of this perfume that I really do love. We do have some orris root in here, there's some vanilla, it's very soft, there's cashmere in here. And this does smell like a fluffy cashmere sweater or a scarf. It's soft, it's delicate, it's angelic, this perfume. It's definitely soft and angelic. This fragrance you will love. If you like Fleur de Peau, you should love this one. If you like Chanel Number no. 5, the old premier, you should love this too. This fragrance also contains coriander and I love coriander in the perfume. Actually, it's a bit like this one I have here, my Gentle Fluidity Gold. This has coriander as does my 1957. Now, when we talk about spices, I talk about a spice being very gentle and I do feel like the coriander adds this sort of smooth warming texture without it being a pungent spice. Some spices are very aromatic, strong, pungent, has a heavy body, such as cinnamon or anise. It's a strong, fragrant spice. I feel the coriander in here adds a very subtle warmth or a smoothness to the texture of the perfume. I do feel like when I wear this, it adds this veil of beautiful, powdery sweetness, and it smells clean with that hint of lemon just really cuts the edge of this perfume. I do love this one a lot, guys. I have to say it's my 1957 Chanel. Definitely a fragrance for life. The next perfume I have is a perfume that I would describe, it was actually my very first love for this fragrance house. It's a fragrance by Tom Ford and you guys know, like ever since I started my perfume journey with you guys, I spoke about this fragrance here and I always talk about Tom Ford. Jasmine Rouge, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I fell in love with the scent immediately. It was actually Jasmine Rouge and Santel Blush. They were both my two favorites from the house. I picked up Jasmine Rouge because I felt like I could wear this all year round. This is a white floral fragrance with lots of spices in abundance. It's warming spices, it is sweet, it is sensual. Not sugary sweet, but feminine sweet. There is some slight freshness to this perfume as well. So this opens up with ginger, cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon and orange, and there's some black pepper as well. In the heart, we have jasmine, elang, neroli, we have sage, and then we have a heart of amber, vanilla, leather, and labdanum. 
but it's all about the heart notes. We have Jasmine, Alain de Roli, Clary Sage. But then the opening, you do get these warm spices, the ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, but it's not that strong spice. Yet again, it's just such a beautiful, complex scent that's been blended out really nicely. Jasmine Rouge has to be my fragrance for life because this is something, again, a very easy grab and go. If my friends call me up and it's like, Charlene, we're going out for drinks, or Charlene, there's this event, or you're going to view some art, or you're going out for tea, or anything, <laughs> this is a fragrance I would reach for. It just adds something exquisite to your silhouette. If you are wearing, let me see, because what do I wear with this? I'm normally dressed up in heels when I wear this, so it just depends. But for me, this is like heels, jewelry, nails are painted, yeah. Jasmine Rouge, I finish off with this perfume. It's such a stunning fragrance, I love it. I have Angelique Noir in my collection, and this is definitely a perfume for life for me. I love the vanilla warm notes in here, but then it's a vanilla that has two sides. One moment it's sweet vanilla, next moment it's a green fruity edge to it, and I do love it. The Angelica in this perfume adds an almost very slight I want to say like a bitter edge, but that bitterness really complements the vanilla, guys. It sort of warms through the vanilla, cuts through and adds this burst. It's a surprise, I have to say. It's like, oh wow, I wasn't expecting to smell that. You think of vanilla, you just think of this sweet, powdery, creamy ice cream vanilla. But when you wear this, it's a surprise. It's got a green edge. With that being said, I find that Angelique Noir makes the perfect, perfect transitional scent and all year round scent. I think that's why I like it so much and that's why this will always be in my collection because I can wear this throughout the year. Now, I don't know if this is going to take you by surprise, but the fragrance I have coming up next will be a fragrance for life. It's my Magnolia Rosa and I think for me this has to be in my collection, always. I think I'll always rebuy this. I really hope it's not going to be discontinued because this is elegance, guys. This is so beautiful. This is a lady's perfume. It's not, you know, sweet and young and playful bubblegum. This is a woman, a lady, a very elegant lady. It's highly feminine. This, to me, you're wearing a white dress, a white blouse. Your hair is tied up into a tiny bun and um, you've got red lipstick on. <laughs> That's what I imagine when I wear this. It's just such a beautiful scent. It's elegant, it's the florals in here. And I've always said there's something about magnolia when you mix it with rose. It gives this sparkling impression. It's very clean and soft, highly elegant. I love this perfume for daytime wear. It's something you can wear in the evenings as well. Most definitely you can do. You can wear it as an occasional perfume. I could see some wearing this to Ascot, going out for tea, you could wear this on your wedding day. It's just that kind of scent, it's just so elegant and so dressed up. I have my last fragrance for life now guys and this is a perfume that I just love to have as one of my top 10 fragrances for life and it's not just the perfume, it's the brand. This is by Roja Parfums, this is my Reckless. Can you see how stunning this bottle is? So beautiful. Oh my goodness, see, this violet shade just looks like royalty and I just love how it's ombre down to the base with this gold accent as a lid, it's really stunning. And then you've just got this here. I just love the look of this bottle and I remembered when they released this um, collection, which I believe was 2020 and I was just like, wow, that's so beautiful, so inviting. This would look stunning on your dressing table. But let's talk about the perfume. This is your floral fragrance that is spiced in the base, but it opens up with lots of citruses. You've got some orange, mandarin, neroli. So it's bright and elegant. And in the heart of this perfume, it's all about the white florals. It's really beautiful. I'm going to read out some of the florals here because it's so intense and pretty. This is jasmine, rose and geranium. I do love rose and geranium mixed together. It's so elegant. Then we have vanilla, musk, cinnamon, benzoin, sandalwood, pink pepper and coriander. Coriander is in here again. I think I'm seeing a theme. I wonder if that's like my go-to note for a fragrance. I discovered 
I think last year that pear was one of my favourite notes. This year it might just be coriander. So Rosia is again similar to my Magnolia Rosa in the sense that it is a fragrance you wear for an occasion. It's a fragrance that if you want to leave a lasting impression you wear this. This is a perfume that is so elegant but it doesn't project so heavily. It doesn't overfill the room so for that reason as an advantage it's inviting and beautiful. When I first smelled this perfume the first thing I could smell is the oranges, the florals and then a little bit of spice as well. So this is definitely in my perfumes for life. What do you think of this perfume? If you've never tried it, I think if you like Love Don't Be Shy, the original, then you're going to love this one. It has a similar vibe about it. This one is a little bit more, I would say, grown up, not so sugary sweet um, as the marshmallow notes in the Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This has a grown up take on it. So try this if you haven't tried it already. I do love this one. But this is definitely in my fragrances for life. Rosia Parfums Reckless. Thank you for watching. I want to see how my list is going to change by the end of the year. Did you spot any of your favorites here? I just know that some of these fragrances I'm just not going to be able to live without. And I think I'm very confident in the Chanel range. I know they don't tend to discontinue their perfume. So the fact that my Chance Autrande is still a part of their line, and I think it will be for a very long time, makes me very happy about that. My Delina exclusive is my most romantic scent. I love that. And then my grab and go would be my gentle fluidity gold. Such a stunning fragrance. So thank you for watching today. Let me know what are your top three perfumes for life. I'm really excited to know if there are anything similar to my collection here. If you're new here on my channel, I would love you to subscribe to my channel. And if you are a regular here on my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please join the family of darlings here where we talk about fragrances, lifestyle, femininity, and tea. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.